Hey guys, it's me Christian. Welcome back to another video on my channel and welcome to Back to School episode number three. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing things I'm nervous slash scared about as being a junior in high school or like an incoming junior. So I have 10 things on my phone, on my notes app, and I'm just going to be reading them off and explaining them to you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. The first one is the amount of workload i know junior year they talk about how much work they get and how much like stress it is and i'm just really nervous about that because if you know me i just don't like being behind and i feel like that is gonna happen because i just like turning in my work on time or like beforehand and i just i don't know i just i'm not ready for the amount of work i am going to get my junior year and i'm just really nervous and scared for that because i haven't really brought in so much work throughout the school year so it's like i'm not really prepared for that and i just am really scared to see how much work the teachers actually give if all these people are correct about how much work teachers give and the teachers give so much work or not that's really just been one big thing i'm really scared about just because i've never really had this happen to me and i'm just like nervous to see what has to come because i just want to get all my work turned in and in on time and i just don't want to like get zeros in the gray book and i don't want to have my parents get called or like stuff like that so i'm just really nervous about that and i'm nervous to see like how everything goes and if it goes smoothly or not and yeah so i'm just really scared because i know there's so many things that like all these past juniors have said about like how much work the teachers give and that junior year is like the hardest year and i'm also scared about how hard it's gonna be the next one kind of goes along with this one and it is falling behind with your work if you know me i don't like falling behind I hate falling behind I'd rather be ahead than be behind I don't know I just feel like if I fall behind I'm just gonna be 10 times as stressed and I hate being stressed out just over school itself so it's like I don't want to do that and knowing how much work the teachers might give it might be a little more difficult to stay on track and actually turn in all the work on time because it's just something I'm not looking forward to I'm not looking forward to the amount of work the teachers are gonna get and it's just really scary for me because I've never really fallen behind with my schoolwork. And if I do, it's only f like one class and like two assignments. So it's not like I fall behind that much. And if I do fall behind, I'm able to turn everything back in. So it's not really a big deal. But this time it's like, I you know, it's going to be much harder. And I'm probably going to get much more schoolwork for all my classes and not just one class. So it's like I really need to start like getting prepared and focusing on what has to come for me. Yeah, I'm just really nervous for that, and I just don't want to fall behind. I hate falling behind. I don't want to fall behind. Yeah, but I know if I do fall behind, I will be able to, like, bring myself back up like I always do, but yeah, that's just something I'm really, really nervous and scared about, so. The next thing is the amount of stress it will be. Like, I know with the work and, like, the assignments and how hard it's going to be, it's going to pile up on you. It's going to get really stressful, and it's going to get really bad for your mental health and that's one thing i'm really scared about because i don't want to mess up my mental health just because of school i don't want to constantly be stressed out over schoolwork you know yeah i just am really nervous about like it stressing me out a lot because i was already stressed out enough the last school year so i don't want to like be even more stressed out because i'm gonna have so many more responsibilities priorities and just things i need to take care of so it's gonna like be so much more like workload and stuff and i know i'm gonna be stressed i just i'm really nervous about like it and I'm just really nervous to be like so stressed about all the work and the amount of stress I will be in. That's what I'm also really nervous about because I don't want to be really that stressed over schoolwork that I could get done in a matter of time. So the next one is making new friends. If you know me, I have had a really hard time making new friends, especially my last school year because technically my sophomore year was my freshman year. 
yeah i'm really like nervous about like making new friends because if you know me i don't just automatically open up to someone i've known for like a day or two that's not how i do things you know i have to actually talk to that person i have to get to know that person to actually see my personality i'm just really scared because i feel like i am gonna be one of those people who barely have friends who barely even are able to make new friends and i want to be the person who makes new friends talks to new people and stuff like that i don't want to be a loner and i'm just really scared and nervous to see like how it goes with making new friends and even if i do meet new people i know i will be close with them at some point it's just like making new friends is really hard and i'm usually really anti-social at school so yeah meaning like i'm really shy and stuff at school and i barely even talk at school as is unless like you're in my class and stuff like that but other than that like out of the classroom i don't talk as much so it's like i don't really know what to do so that's just what i'm really nervous and scared about but the next thing on my list is getting close with the teachers because i know like getting close with teachers is really scary for me especially when you barely know the teacher and you don't know like how you're gonna end up being because the first day obviously they're gonna be really nice to you but like weeks later they might like yell at you or they might like get on to you about something that is really irrelevant you know so it's just like i'm really Really nervous about like getting close with the teachers but at the same time I'm really excited about like getting close with the teachers because I just like you know they're gonna like be there for us and like help us throughout the way so it's like I'm excited but I'm nervous I'm more so nervous about this one than scared but you can say I'm also scared about this one it's just like meeting new teachers is just really nerve-wracking for me and like actually telling stuff about me to them is something I really don't want to do at all especially on like the first week of school yeah I'm just not ready to get close with the teachers quite yet yeah but at the same time i'm really excited so it's a like a win-win situation i guess so the next thing is being involved in school activities if you've known me i am very uninvolved with school like i didn't go to one single football game i don't really like make friends and go like to these school events so it's like i'm really uninvolved like i could care less about school events and stuff like i don't really care about that stuff i just never really had anyone to go with but i do want to start getting more involved with my school and what they do and like stuff like that yeah i'm just really nervous to get involved with school because i know i'm gonna meet so many new people and it's just really scary for me to get like involved in school activity because that's something i've really never been interested in or i've never really had the interest to do so it's just like i want to do it but i just don't really have the people to do it with you know so it's gonna be nerve-wracking and scary but i know with the amount of school events they provide us i know i'll be able to go to some of them so the next one i'm like nervous slash scared about is the test and quizzes if you know me i am not a good test slash quiz taker like i suck at like memorizing things especially if it's on a test or quiz and i just feel like i get really anxious when i try and take a test or quiz i just end up like failing it most times and which is something i don't want to do i don't want to end up failing a test or a quiz that i could have done so well on and i know people are going to be like you should just study next time you should just study and you'll probably do great on the test but i do study most times and i still end up doing really bad on it and i feel like studying doesn't really work with me because i feel like i'm gonna forget it the time i take the quiz or test so yeah, in that moment i tell myself i'm gonna memorize it and stuff but like when the time comes it's just like i'm not gonna memorize it whatsoever so yeah that's just what i'm really nervous and scared about and i'm not ready for all the amount of quizzes and tests the teachers are gonna give because i know they're gonna be a lot and i know you have to basically like get yourself prepared and take your new year your serious year because this school year is really gonna matter to me like it's gonna matter for like my gpa and stuff because i know a lot of people say their gpa goes like extremely down their junior but yeah we'll see with that one but the next one is the teachers grading really harsh so i know some teachers that like would grade really harsh over like simple things you know if like they can't read something they'll take points off if i didn't 
put one word in a sentence that was missing, they'll take points off. And it's usually the English teachers. The English teachers, they be grading so harsh and it just like makes my grade look so bad overall. And it's like, I put so much effort into this. I don't even get the grade I want. Yeah, especially the English teachers and stuff like that. I just don't like the way some of the teachers grade because sometimes they just grade so harshly and they grade so like so much more than they need to and I just feel like that's so unnecessary for them to do because in no way should they need to make it so much more challenging for you to even get a good grade. I feel like they don't want you to get a good grade on an assignment. So it's like why should we even put effort into doing the work if they're just going to make us fail the work. I mean I get why teachers do it. I just don't like when teachers do that because then like they'll make my average go down so much more than it needs to and that's really just unnecessary for the teachers to do. The last one is strict teachers, just mean and rude teachers in general. So I've had some really strict teachers in the past. I'm just really nervous to see like their rules and like what rules they provide us and how they teach us and how they treat us and I'm just really nervous about that because I hate teachers who are really disrespectful and just rude and mean. And I'm not saying that's gonna happen, but I'm just saying if it does happen, I'm just really nervous about how they're gonna treat us and act upon us. So it's like, it's really nerve wracking, you know? And that's something I'm just not ready for and I hope we don't get any like disrespectful, mean or rude, strict teachers because I hate those type of teachers. I'd rather have like a really cool, nice, laid back, chill teacher who doesn't really mind what we do if we're doing our work then that's all that should matter at the end of the day i don't really get why teachers are so strict nowadays yeah those were all 10 of the things i am nervous slash scared about for my junior year of high school i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys did be sure to subscribe down to my channel and with that being said i will see you guys in my next video bye guys